introduction to one to one correspondence hello friends i am the parrot welcome to this chapter let's see what you will learn in this lesson what are pairs of objects and how to make a pair of two identical objects Toto needs to arrange his clothes in his almira. To do this, he has kept all his clothes on his bed. His mother comes to his room. Oh wow, Chotu! All these socks are very beautiful. Which one of these pair would you wear for your first cricket class tomorrow? Mm, what does a pair mean? Let me explain to you. Tell me how many hands do we have? Two. Yes. And how many legs? Two. Absolutely correct, Chotu. This means we have a pair of hands. And similarly, we also have a pair of legs. Okay. So this way we have a pair of eyes as well. Right, mom? <laughs> yes son you got it right mom what does a pair of socks means we have two legs and we wear one sock on each leg on both feet we wear identical socks such as these two socks with stars isn't it yes because we wear these two socks with stars together on each leg and that is how they form a pair of socks this means a group of two identical objects is called a pair oh okay can you tell me another example of a pair mm, the pair of earrings you are wearing <laughs> right chotu you are absolutely correct both of my earrings look alike and i wear them together in each of my ears so these two are also in a pair do you know what this process of making pair is called mm, no this process of making pairs is called one to one correspondence Come on now quickly keep all these clothes inside and go to sleep So children like Chotu can you think of more examples of pairs That's all for today In this video we learn what are pairs of objects How to make pair of two identical objects And the process of making pairs of objects is called one to one correspondence In the next video we will see some more examples of one to one correspondence Till then bye friends One to one correspondence interesting examples part 1 So children in the previous video you have learned what are pairs of objects how to make a pair of two identical objects and this process of making pairs of the objects is called one to one correspondence and in this video we will see some more examples of one to one correspondence in which we will create pairs of two objects used in the same task today is chotu's cricket class he can't find his bat and ball he asks his mother for help mom do you know where my bat and my ball are kept Yes Chotu they are on the chair in a hurry you forgot that you had placed them on this chair Oh yes thank you mom your pair of star socks looks very good 
Thank you, Mom. Do you know that just like these socks are in a pair, your bat and ball are also in a pair? But how, Mom? These socks look the same and I wear them together. That's why they are in pairs. How are these bat and ball in pair? I will explain it to you, son. You use the bat and the ball together while playing cricket, don't you? Yes, mom. That means two objects which are used together in a task can also be called a pair. Oh, really? Can you tell me more examples of such pairs? Yes, why not, son? Look at the paper and pen placed on that table. We use both these things in writing, which means This means pen and paper also form a pair. Yes, Chotu, you are absolutely correct. Now, can you tell me examples of more such pairs? Um, pant and shirt. Yes, Chotu. Pant and shirt are also a pair. But Chotu, can you tell me that how these two are also in a pair? Yes, we wear pant and shirt together. So both of them are in a pair. Isn't it, Mom? <laughs> yes, Chotu. Very good. Come on now. Quickly get ready for your class. Otherwise, you will get late. Children, can you also identify such pairs around you? That was all for today's lesson. In this video, we learned how to make pairs of two objects which are used together in the same task. In the next video, we will look at another interesting example. Until then, goodbye friends. One to one correspondence. Interesting examples, part two. So, children, in the previous video, you saw some examples in which you made pairs of two objects used together in a task. In this video, we will see another interesting example of one to one correspondence. Today is Chotu's birthday and his friends have started coming one by one. Chotu's mother brings Chotu's birthday cake. Then Chotu cuts the cake. Let me now cut a piece of cake for each of the children. Hey, but I don't know how many children I have to cut the cake for. Mom, cut the entire cake into pieces and then give us all a piece each. Oh yes, Chotu. This is very easy. This piece is for Aarti. This one is for Sonu. This one is for Neha. And this one is for Chotu. Yay! We have all got a piece of cake. <laughs> yes, Chotu. Although I didn't know how many children I have to give the cake pieces to. But as per your idea, I made a pair of one child and one piece of cake and gave each child a piece. Thus all the children got a piece of cake. Similarly, when we do not know the number of any two things, and we want to find out whether they are equal in number or not, then we can find this out by making a pair of those two things. This is fine, Mom. But what about the remaining pieces of cake? Does any child want one more piece? All the children raise their hands. Everyone needs one more piece. This is for Aarti. And this is for Sonu. Oh, the pieces of cake are over. Never mind. Come on, Aarti. You share your piece with Neha. And Sonu, you share your piece with Chotu. This way, everyone will get the same quantity of cake. 
Did you see how all the children had a lot of fun eating cake? So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned how to compare the number of objects by pairing them. I hope that you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends.